blessful day everyone welcome to ak sak farm for today's video i will share with you on how to make your own probiotics for poultry using three ingredients probiotics useful for the poultry to produce chicken that is free of antibiotics and better feed efficiency probiotics gives broilers protection for intestinal integrity and help defend the immune system from unwanted bacteria the first is the moringa moringa is useful resource of dietary supplementation for livestock as well as poultry for the entire supplement in layers and broilers due to high production performance and improved eggs quality oregano Oregano conjunction with probiotic foods leads to healthy gut enzymes and gut flora. Oregano replaces antibiotics used in livestock when feed in combination with probiotics and sanitary living conditions. When oregano replaces antibiotics used in livestock and poultry, we all benefit. The third is the molasses. Molasses offers health benefits to the heart and enables the building of muscle. Blackstrap molasses, which is the proper choice for chickens, is also high in iron, magnesium, potassium, and calcium, all of which are important to a chicken's health. And this is the process. Let's start it. Also, oh, this is the moringa. Half kilo of moringa or malunggay and half kilo of oregano all dry guys all dry and then half uh, approximately half kilo of molasses molasses is the byproduct of uh, refining sugar from sugar cane in other places, they use molasses as sweetener. Um, I think U.S. and uh, Europe use molasses as uh, sweetener. And you have to mix it. It looks awful but it's not guys it's not dirty because molasses is a clean byproduct of uh, refined sugar you have to mix it properly be sure that uh, all the dry ingredients are mixed with our molasses so that we will have a uh, very beautiful result we have to uh, sit aside this for seven days okay for the uh, fermentation okay you have to sit aside uh, be sure that you have to sit aside this in a cool dry place um, it should be uh, if possible dark place uh, away from sunlight and then after that you have to clean up because we have to seal it guys you have to seal it properly tightly that uh, oxygen cannot get in okay if you have a cover container that you put a container with cover it's much better but we don't have a cover of this so we have to use a cling wrap to sell it properly sure guys that 
there's no escape of the air inside the container for us to have a very good result we will have a very good probiotics by the way guys you can use other kinds of green leaves you can use uh, sweet potato tops or any leaves guys um, some use uh, fish for their probiotics but we use uh, oregano and malunggay because for me it's uh, the benefits of this too is very good so uh, we prefer to use malunggay or uh, moringa and oregano okay after this you have to keep in a cold place uh, away from direct sunlight and this is our uh, probio probiotics that is fermented for seven days and here it is guys as you can see it's already fermented it's already uh, watered guys it's become liquid already okay that's the result of seven days fermentation okay then we have to strain it we have to remove the we have to separate the solid and the liquid okay this the liquid product is our probiotics and we have to give it to our chickens to our poultry two times a week two tablespoon of this probiotics in each uh, one liter of water in their water container in their water drinking uh, container okay approximately we use this approximate only guys we don't need to use a spoon but uh, approximately you have to give two tablespoon of uh, your probiotics to your uh, water to the water of your poultry two times a week okay two tablespoon of probiotics in one lit of water two times a week okay this is only for today tomorrow after you change your uh, if you change the water tomorrow you have the next or the next day you have to uh, uh, no need to put another probiotics okay two times a week only guys okay thank you thank you guys for the support in my videos i hope you will watch this video until the end so that you won't miss anything okay and here it goes we have to give it to them okay you don't need to buy uh, for me guys as i've always told we prefer to uh, do natural farming we uh, produce our own or grow our own food for our livestock for us to be sure that we give them healthy food for us also to be sure that we eat healthy food okay if you give them probiotics guys you will have healthy livestock because they won't get sick because they always have probiotics with them and it's easy to prepare and it's not expensive because if you have just planted moringa trees in your backyard and oregano in your backyard you only have to buy the molasses okay i uh, before i forgot uh, you can use if there's no molasses you can use um sugar brown sugar 
Okay, the brown sugar guys, you can use brown sugar. Half kilo of brown sugar. One kilo of your green leafy uh, vegetables and half kilo of brown sugar you can have your probiotics uh, some use fish or fish uh, intestines or fish you can use fish any any fish you can use uh, for your probiotics okay and now we are giving it to them uh, you can give it to your ducks to your chickens any breed of chickens guys okay and that's it they will like it guys because it's maybe i just i just guess it's sweet because molasses is sweet and uh, moringa and oregano uh, maybe a little bit bitter but uh, with the help of the molasses it's maybe it's uh, mellowed down to a a better a better ta taste okay and here they are they enjoyed it guys and as you can see we have healthy chickens okay again guys thank you so much for watching my videos i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned i hope i help you and see you again on my next videos an industry that feeds you is an industry worth fighting for see you on my next videos happy farming and god bless us